Okay guys, as I said in the last video, I wanted to show you a couple different sets while we were out scouting today. And I'm just looking for areas for potential traps where I may put traps come season. I'll probably start trapping coyotes probably, mm, I'm going to say mid-October. The fur will start to get pretty decent. I noticed at the Fur Takers College that fur was getting pretty good on some of the coons already. They're going to reach prime a little early this year, I think. Trapping season for those type animals in Ohio isn't until November 10th, but I can trap coyotes all year round. So I'll probably target a few coyotes in areas where I don't think I'm going to catch coons, like open trails like we were on today, probably won't catch as many coons as they'll catch coyotes. Now areas like we're in right now in the woods would be areas where you're going to catch coons. But what we've got here is we've got three trails that intersect. So any inside corner of any one of these three areas in this intersection would be good. Remember that any area that's good enough for one set is usually good enough for two. If I were going to set in here, I'd put one set on this inside corner, one set on this inside corner, because I've got a three-way intersection right here. Always set sign. Look around to see if animals are traveling in the area. If you can see sign, whether it's tracks or scat, or hair under a fence, whatever the case may be, if you can find sign, that's where you want to set your traps, as well as visible used trails. Now, in this area, because it's so dry, it's going to be tough to find sign. But I know from past experience, this area gets a lot of foot traffic. I've seen a lot of canine sign right out here on the main trail. I know they come through here because I know they go through that field. I've seen tracks in the snow as well that connects to this trail. I know they're going back in the woods back here as well as coons. So come November 10th, there's going to be two traps in this location. So what I want to show you today is called a blended flat set. We're going to get on that right over here on this inside corner right now. Stay with me, guys. Okay, now, I'm going to get this thing in a good spot for you guys. We'll put it right here in this sun spot. What we're trying to do with a blended set is we're trying to make the ground look exactly like it does now when we're done. And that's tough if you've got really dry ground or lumpy dirt. With some type of set that you're digging a hole especially like a dirt hole set type thing or a step down, you want that fresh dirt look there like something's been digging in there already or excavating that hole because that's going to be a visual attractant to the animal. With this, all we're trying to do is attract them with scent and we'll have a hole, but it won't have any fresh dirt around it. It will be very blended and it's very good for Western coyotes, things like that. We were taught this at the Fur Takers College. It works really good on coyotes because it kind of fools them into thinking that nothing's wrong, there's just a hole there, I can smell something coming out of it, let me check it out. And you're relying on them to circle that hole a little bit, you put it at a little bit of an angle to kind of bring them around to where your trap bed is. So what we're going to do is, the same thing we did before, we're going to, first, we're going to dig ourselves a trap bed. And again, we're digging this right on the trail. We're right on that inside bend of this trail. And we've got to dig this out big enough for our trap. We've got roots, things like that. We can move over a little bit to try to avoid those roots. If we have to, we can dig through those roots. We don't have to put this trap real deep because, again, this trap's not supposed to be real deep. This is a flat set. We want this even with the ground when we're done. We've got a pretty good root going through there that we're going to have to work around. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll see how our trap sits in there now. That will give us a little bit of an explanation or a little bit of advice on what we have to do to make this thing work. We set that trap in there, we can see we're right at ground level. So we're not going to have to go any deeper, and that root's not going to bother us. So we take our chain, put it in the bottom of the hole, drive two stakes in there, 18 to 24 inches. So again, this is a mock set. So we're just going to kind of bury that a little bit and bury our chain. Now let's put our set in there and see where we're at. Okay, we're still good. We're still in good shape there. Now, I want to get this right up against the edge of this bed, just like that. Get this down to my night latch. Again, with 
with the pop. With these Minnesota brand traps, that night latch tells you the pan is level, and if you move it just a little bit, it's going to go off. That's one good thing about these traps. Now we're going to begin to fill in our trap bed, but we've got to cover our pan. Again, I don't have any pan covers with me today. No big deal. I can throw a couple leaves on there, and it's not going to hurt a thing. And just go straight over the top of those leaves, just like that. I'll fill in some of this heavier dirt off to the side for right now. Now before I cover this completely up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to kind of blend this over a little bit. So I see what I've got here and I see where my pan's at, it's right there. Now I don't want any big sticks or anything where my pan's at. But I do want some debris laying around here because it was already here. So I'm just kind of going to be careful about where I drop my debris. And I'm going to make sure it's on the outside of my actual bed. Just like this. Make sure that nothing big or large is going to interfere with my jaws when they close or my pan. I want all that stuff out of the way. But little bits of chaff and leaves that are ground up real fine is just going to make that set look more natural. So that's fine. Then I'll just take this stuff that's out here, move it back around where I have my knees, things like that. Now, I know that my trap bed or my trap pan is about right here. So for sake of this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to take and scoop this down a little bit. to where our pan is, which is right here underneath this leaf. So our jaws and our dog are right here. Right here is the dog to our trap. So for the moment, I'm going to uncover that so you guys can see it. I want you to get the relationship of this hole. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dirt hole punch and I'm going to come in right beside that dog, almost right directly in front of it, and I'm going to go to a slight angle to the back, just a very slight angle, enough to make him have to come around here to look straight down that hole. And I'm going to punch a hole in here. And I'm going to punch that hole fairly deep. Probably hit a root in there and had to cut through it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's a piece of wood right there I had to cut through with that punch. Now that's fine. Now I've got this uncovered so you guys can see what's going on here. But now what we want to do is. We want to get this back to the way it looked before, before I uncovered it. So that it kind of looks like the ground out here. Again, debris is fine. I want debris around this set because it was there already. But I don't want debris right where my pan is. So I've got to bear in mind where my pan is. And my pan was right behind this hole right there. So I'll scrape that out just a little bit and just put a little dirt over it. No rocks. Then I'll take some fine stuff again, grind it up right over the top of it, pull any big chunks out of there. Get any sticks out. 
We don't want anything in there that's going to interfere with those jaws. And we're going to call that good. Now what we have here is what I would call a blended flat set. We have no backing really, other than a little bit of an uphill sweep right here. We're on the trail, so it's going to be comfortable for him to come around this side anyway, and not over the top where these sticks and things are at. And when he comes around here to get a good look down in that hole, which is where we're going to drop our bait, he's going to have to come in here, which is right where our pan's at. Right there. Okay, guys, well, I appreciate you joining me for another video out here today in our Modern Trapping series. We're just kind of getting warmed up on the trapping stuff for this year. There's going to be a lot more to come. We run our trap line later on at the beginning of November. Getting ready to get back into our basic series. We'll talk about a few little trapping things in between. We're going to do some blacksmithing as well. I appreciate your views. I thank you for your support. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.